So what we want to do in equity at a portfolio is to buy some resilience. Of course, there could be some bad surprises still to come, and we want to have an equity portfolio that could be relatively resilient. At the same time, PIMCO's forecast is also that we will have an economic recovery coming and we want to also benefit from the upside. So when we try to bring together those two um, attributes, the equities that will um, reconcile both aspects are in what we call quality growth. And when we scan the world for those companies that have the steadiest cash flow, uh, that have the highest return on equity, while at the same time having robust balance sheet, we find most of these companies in the United States. And therefore, this is the region that we recommend having an overweight. Of course, some might be a little bit more optimistic about the outlook would want to bring a little bit more cyclicality in the portfolio. And therefore, for those who want to have a bit more cyclicality in their portfolio, we recommend sectors around digitalization, green sectors like electric vehicle or solar energy, and also factory and automation at large. This then would point to countries like the United States, emerging market Asia, but also Japan. In equities, we're really focused on driving value through growth equities. In credit, we're really looking at value. And this is really because the drivers of equities and credit differ. Where in, in equities, growth is the real driver for returns. In credit, solvency is the w- real driver for returns. So in corporate credit, we're really focused on bend but not break IG credit. And what we mean by bend but not break is that we're looking at double B rated credit or triple B rated credit that we don't think has real risk of solvency concerns and that we think can do well in a weak environment. Outside of corporates, we do see a lot of opportunity within non-traditional credit, particularly structured products like non-agency MBS that are backed by a real diversified pool of assets. Within emerging markets, we are focused on external debt and local debt over emerging market equities as well as FX. And it's important to note that EM equities and EM FX are really driven by growth drivers. (laughs) 